So here I describe how you can just do a callback within the load. And so we've seen previously that we can load HTML and text files in here. And then we know now that we can also bring in our cascading style sheets and actually external, uh, external JavaScript as well. Um, so here, we'll just uh, show that you can add another argument here. And I'll just call it callback. So that would be the name of the function to be called. And then down here, um, I'll just write the function. And do the open and closing brackets. Okay, so then it will call that function upon being loaded, upon executing the load. And so now um, I can just add some jQuery here to respond. And then let me come on down here and see. Uh, this is actually the code that I'll be typing right there. Uh, it's going to be right here. And so there's nothing between the opening and closing div tag, which has the ID of responder. So the responder is just a name that I made up. And that area will have response code written into it once it is um, once it's working. Okay, so I come back here and let's finish typing up that code. So I got to reference that ID or, you know, class or div, what have you. And so here, I'll just make opening, oops, opening quotes, and then parentheses and responder. And that's going to be the closing. Actually, I don't need this opening parenthesis right there. Let's close that up. And so now I say what I want to do with it. And so what I want to do with this is just add some text. And you could actually uh, use HTML as well if you want, but we'll just keep this simple, text. And uh, let's say data on the page is loaded. And that's all. So here, just to repeat, you have the second argument. So you have a comma, the name of that function that you're going to call. And then you have to write that function and tell it what to do. And in this case, we're just going to add some text to that ID. So I save that up and then we'll load it up to the server again. Okay. So you have to take that and actually load that up to the server. Uh, cause this is number four. Okay. okay. And once it loads up, then I can come back here and let's go back to four. I'll refresh this for a second. And it is working. So it ran a function that says data page loaded. And so actually an interesting thing to do, let me right click and view the page source. And we view that page source here and we'll see if it shows anything. And in the page source for that, for that document, it actually doesn't show anything between the opening and closing div tag. Okay. And neither does it here. Okay, so, so that's something to keep in mind. But yet there is content there. And how is that working? Well, it's loading it in. It's using, Aja uh, it's using Ajax to load it in from an external file.